hi guys good morning um today we'll be talking about how to create numpy arrays on python let's get straight into it first of all you need to have pycharm installed on your computer this is where you're going to run the operation and okay for you to install pycharm just go on google go to install pycharm and you can install pycharm by just print from here or from here once you've installed it I have it installed already you can open it and the first thing we do is to create a new file so we're creating a new Python file so let's name it numpy array dot py the dot py at the end tells the computer that this is a Python file so enter Okay, sorry. I already have a Python file. Okay. Py, sorry. The py. Yeah. So here's a new file. Um before we create a numpy array, we need to be sure that we have numpy package installed on PyCharm. Before I go further. Let me just tell you a bit about NumPy. NumPy is actually a shortened form of numerical Python and it is a package on Python that it's that is used to create multi-dimensional array objects. It is used for mathematical and logical operations basically. If you need to know more more about NumPy, you can go to Google, type NumPy like I did here and click on this and you can find everything you need to know about numpy right here okay so let's go back to pycharm and back to work so the next thing we do before we proceed is to make sure we have numpy installed now um we could do this in several ways but the faster way which i prefer is to install it from pycharm here and you need to go to file to your settings to your project interpreter here and that's where i am currently then this is where you're going to find all the packages that you've installed so far since this is not the first time i'm using python i have a lot of packages installed already so we go to this part because we want to install a new package and we type numpy here numpy enter once we click on numpy here there's a button down here that shows to install package and then we install note that what we're doing here is we're directly downloading it from the internet but it's since we're doing it on pycharm it's much easier so we're directly downloading it and this implies that you need to have your wi-fi connection up and running so let's install once it is done installing which doesn't take a lot of time you're going to get a green notification at the at the um, bottom part of this screen here that it's been installed successfully so we wait yeah so that is it package number installed successfully and mission accomplished so let's close this and we click ok because we have numpy already now um we need to assign a name to numpy and what we basically do what we generally do is to import numpy with a particular name and the general name used for numpy on python is to import it as mp so that going forward when we are writing our code we don't have to type numpy we don't have to type numpy over and over again so we just import numpy and assign a shorter name to it that is the reason for the first code i'm about to write right now so we import numpy as np so going forward np represents numpy in our code and type enter <coughs> now once create an array right once create an array and um, the first thing we want to experiment right now let's create an array with just a row and one row and five columns if you don't understand what i'm talking about right now an array simply refers to uh like a matrix i believe you should know what a matrix mean 
means and a matrix um, structure is similar to that of an array so let's create um, a matrix an array <laughs> where we have one row and five columns let's do it so you should note something that in Python when you are assigning a name to your variable you can only use a name that has a single you can only use a single name or you can use a name with an underscore you can use something like this array array one is equal to if you use something like this and you assign your variables to it you're going to get an error um you could try this out and see if it works and see whether you're going to get an error result or you're going to get an error result because you're confusing python here and if you notice when because you're assigning a name one is supposed to be printed in the same color as array but it is printed in another color so python reads it as, as something else and not as a name so which is why you need to have an underscore something that connects it that makes python understand that oh this is a name i'm assigning to a variable now see the difference that i had an underscore can you see it's the same color as array even without the underscore immediately i removed the space in between the color matched so this is to tell you that you don't you don't um assign a name that looks like this because you're going to confuse python but to be more comfortable i prefer to use um the name of array a all right so the next thing we do is to tell python this is a numpy array yeah so we're going to type a code that shows python that this is a numpy array and i want you to print it as a multi-dimensional array so we'll type the first thing np remember np means numpy right dot array meaning that this is an array and then we open our um, brackets all our codes always come in um, most of our codes come in the normal round brackets but when we're creating an array we need to ensure that we're, it, we're putting it in a square bracket especially when we're working with figures so um, this round bracket is just to impute all our variables in one bracket and to to impute it in one bracket basically but inside this round bracket we're going to put all our variables in a square bracket so let's proceed square bracket one let's make our array one two three four five and close and enter the next thing and the final step we'll have is to print array hey so once we press print once we run this we expect that numpy we expect that python returns to us one two three four five in a row and let's check it out whether this is going to work kindly note before i proceed that when you are assigning when you are giving a print order to a print order to python always put your the results you want in a round bracket don't do something like this do not do something like this please ensure that you put the results you want in a round bracket now let's run we could use shift f10 which is the shortcut for run or we come to run here here we'll see all the files we've worked on so far and the one we want to run but right now we're working on this here so we click on this and we run it and see our results yeah so here it is one two three four five perfectly showing in a row with five columns now let's go further yeah let's create four rows five columns so we need to add three more rows right yeah so since these are different rows we cannot add the rest of the rows inside the same square bracket here we can't do that we need to put them in separate square brackets to tell python that these are different rules and i want you to arrange them as arrays not in the same row do you understand so comma to separate it to tell python that okay we're adding a new row 
then six seven eight nine and ten our third row now remember your comma um 11 12 13 14 and 15 and at our last row 16 17 18 19 20 and that's it now um, I'm going to print this and I'm going to have an error and I'll explain why we have an error. So let's run this. Shift F10, yeah? Yeah, so we have an error here. And the reason why we have an error is because Python is reading this in a different way. Now we have five, we have four rows here, but this single rows one two three four we need to show python that they are part of the same array they are part of the same matrix because this really looks confusing for python yeah so for us to make this clear to python that okay we want to create four rows with five columns they are in the same matrix to make it simpler for you and to talk in python terms they are in the same array so Python puts these variables in one singular array, but arrange them as four rows and five columns. Now what we do is we we'll put an additional square bracket here and another one at the end here and we we'll print shift F10. So we have four rows, five columns, like we wanted. So this is how to create a NumPy array on Python. Um, if you have any questions, please let us let me know in the comments box below. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.